In this video published by Urban Exploration in August of 2016, you can see a man in a black hoodie standing very still outside some near steps. Looking down through the uploader's window, the creep appears frozen there. The video describes what happened. For the past four days, I have seen a man standing in front of my building, wearing a black hoodie looking through the windows of my apartment. This video is proof as my friends and family don't believe me. This was recorded on August 22, 2016 at around 3 a.m. After a minute or so of footage of this creep standing there, the YouTuber races out of the room down the stairs into the area to investigate. Only there's no one there when he arrives. The camera scans around but the stalker is not in sight. Was he lurking in some nearby bushes? We can only guess. Something is living tucked away in this abandoned bunker. Published in December of 2016, Dima Maslenikov proves that you should always prepare to encounter the darkness within, even when you assume you're alone. While exploring what is supposed to be an abandoned bunker, Dima's camera captures something lurking in the shadows. In the moment, it appears as if all that lies ahead is darkness, but a close-up of the tunnel's depths shows what looks to be a face peering out at him. The features of the face are distorted and mask-like due to the bunker being so dark and the image quality inept to capture a clear shot, but the obscurity of the shot captured is creepy enough to give us pause. If you saw this, would you dare to dive into this bunker further? If you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find. Published to YouTube in July of 2006, TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while, there is banging. <laughs> Although it's not clear where the sound is coming from, the rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over. But my questions about this video remain unanswered. This video was published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in March of 2020. Truthfinder's paranormal experience is more than creepy. It's absolutely terrifying. According to the man in the video, who is holding up note cards to explain his situation, he's a student who moved into a townhouse with two roommates who'd begun to experience odd happenings inside the home. He attempted to capture video evidence, but was unable to until now. His roommates also reported strange things occurring. On the night in question, they were out and our friend was home alone in the townhouse. He begins filming upon entering his home. As he's walking around, he starts to hear strange noises, including knocks and then something that sounds like a piece of metal falling on the ground. When he goes to check it out in the kitchen, that's exactly what he finds. A metal ring on the tile floor. It looks like it fell off the light fixture. After going upstairs and putting his keys on his desk, the hall light fixture starts to go nuts, flickering on and off statically. When he turns around facing his room again, something is standing there with a sheet covering it, a human form. He pulls the sheet away to find nothing there. He searches his room to see if there's anything to explain the form. Under his desk in the closet, there's no one there. That is, until he opens his bedroom door to the hallway and again finds this. If this video doesn't creep you out to the max, then you must be Superman. Number 5. If you saw this on your home security camera, what would you think? According to Johnny Smither 333, 
who posted the video to the ghost subreddit. The strange capture came from his living room's motion detection camera. Whatever this flash is had enough presence to set off the camera, but it's unclear what that blur might be. While many in the comments say it's a bug, others like SPM Wiggy offers more creative suggestions. She writes, It's a tiny witch on a matchstick. Clearly, you can see the hat and the giant witch nose. Another Redditor suggests that it could be gremlins. The Redditor says that in slow motion, it looks like it appeared out of thin air. He also notes that as soon as it gets closer to the camera, it doesn't look like any bug he's seen. Have you seen a bug that looks like this? I know that's likely the culprit in cases of videos like this, but I definitely agree. I've never seen a bug that looks like this before. Therefore, there is at least a reasonable chance this is truly paranormal. This radio DJ is live on air when all of the lights go out. Some of his equipment is still on though, so this is not a normal blackout. He is all alone and doesn't know what to do, so he calls someone for help, probably a management at home or technical support. That's when a cloaked figure passes by the window and makes him put down the phone. He creeps to the window and looks down the hall. Whoever it was is already gone. The next call he makes, I'm sure, is to the cops. According to him, this radio station has very high-tech security that requires thumbprints authorization to get in. Nobody should have been walking around after hours, especially not somebody dressed in ancient robes with their head down. Caden Parker meets up with some friends at a local skate park and finds someone much older trying to pick arguments with everyone he sees. Big man! Who's big man? You, right? I'm going for a sleeper. Dude, come on. Just, can you just like leave us alone? We're, we're just trying to have a good time enjoying the nice weather. Like, Who cares? I'm going for a sleeper. Soon he turns his attention towards Caden and tells him he's going to put him in a submission hold if he comes down from the ramp. By now, the skate park has mostly cleared out, so it's just a face off between Caden and this angry stranger. Dude, the police are on the way. I hope you know that. I hope so. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't saw the 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 skate park. Skate park. And he's kind of picked fights with little kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Might as well make it worth it. Yo, tell him to send an officer ASAP. An officer shows up right before things get any more out of hand. I really don't think this is a fake video because the officer walks up and puts him in cuffs straight away. Apparently, he has a long history of doing this and nobody seems to be acting. After he's taken away, the park fills back up with people who are scared away. Caden Parker shows a lot of bravery standing up for them, as well as self-restraint by not stepping forward when challenged. Had this escalated, he could be in as much trouble as the person who is actually in the wrong. He did everything right in my opinion and is allowed to enjoy the rest of his day peacefully as a result. A YouTuber named Crossover likes to play basketball, but we all know that's not why he's on this list. He lives in a house on the edge of some woods that are known to be haunted, at least if you believe what's about to happen to him next. Crossover goes inside of his dad's workshop to talk more about his plans for the channel. You know, I have had channels in the past but, you know, I kind of scrapped them, they were, they were a little bit weird, and I didn't even know what was going And behind him, one of his dad's tools rolls off the shelf. Crossover wonders how the object moves all by itself. And a scary voice tells Crossover to come back as soon as he goes off camera. He thinks this is a ghost EVP because he says he was in the workshop alone. However, the voice could have been edited and someone could have been hiding under the shelf to make the object look like it was pushed by a ghost. There is a demon in this abandoned house and Dimitri from A Sip of Fear is about to face him. Inside the kitchen, he finds a strange trap door in the floor. But before checking out what's down there, the demon tells him he's here. Yeah. 
я здесь. Кто ты? He starts to grow paranoid. And later, a stationary camera captures some activity. The demon seems to be a one-hit wonder. And he tells Dimitri that he's too late. Then the lights go off. Apparently, he's told Dimitri to leave, and this time Dimitri listens. I find the slamming doors were the most intense part of this visit. The demon wouldn't have to tell me twice. I would have left after the first warning. This haunted home has visible spirits stalking about. Published by A Sip of Fear in January of 2022, an unsettling figure was captured in the glass during this paranormal investigation. After setting up some cameras in this haunted home, activity begins pretty quickly. A wardrobe door is captured opening and closing, and later a bang causes the paranormal investigator to jump out of his skin. Again. In another room, a stationary camera captures a figure's reflection in the glass door of a shelf. And again, the wardrobe door opens and closes repeatedly. Is this spirit trying to tell us something? Or does she just want to be left alone? Some property owners just can't let go. Posted by Sour Sweet Gone to the Ghost subreddit. The previous owner of this restaurant makes his jealousy known. The security footage shows some employees behind the counter at the restaurant preparing some paperwork. No customers are present, and that's probably a good thing. Suddenly, a framed picture on the wall falls straight down onto the one below it and flips over onto the floor. One of the workers literally throws his hands into the air while the other jumps, covering her mouth in astonishment. According to the Redditor, the picture that fell was an award for the new owner's restaurant. Is the previous owner sore about their success? Some of the comments suggest the nail or wall fastening fell out or broke, but the Redditor has an answer for that and says the nail was still in the wall and the way it was hung made falling on its own seem unlikely. So what do you think? Broken nail or jealous ghost? I think that's a pretty fair explanation about the nail, so I'm definitely leaning on the side of the paranormal. A live streamer named Lothar is in the middle of playing Hearthstone when he suddenly starts acting out of sorts. If you pay close attention to his face, you can see that he is clearly feeling some discomfort. He takes his headset off and tries to regain control over himself, but to no avail. and his wife finds him there. She tries to get him to come to his senses. Here is a brief excerpt of the call. I don't speak the language, but common sense gives me some idea of what she is saying. Still, any translations are appreciated. No, 
In case anyone is wondering, Lothar spent about a week recovering, but this has not happened since. Bayro's H is certain that his house is haunted and claims this video is proof. For some reason, his little dog TJ is always growling at the corner of his bedroom. Bayros shows that there is nothing of interest in the corner besides some old suitcases. Yet TJ refuses to give up. Eventually, TJ tracks something leaving the room that is undetectable to the human eye. Exactly what this dog was seeing is anyone's guess, but I think it was most likely a spiritual presence of some kind. Perhaps some kind of intense event once took place here and left a paranormal energy behind. Lexworth Village used to be a collection of 130 mental asylums built two hours from Brooklyn, a place where unwanted people in the early 1900s New York were taken to be forgotten, never to be visited, never to be removed. Atrocities were inflicted daily upon patients unable to make sense of what was happening to them or to defend against it. With a ratio of three nurses to every 80 patients, there simply wasn't enough staff to keep everyone well fed or even alive. Mealtimes were a mad scramble in which a handful of nurses had to shovel food down patients' throats often against their will. Some didn't survive. Their bodies were branded with a number and taken to a cemetery in a nearby forest. Lechtworth Village did not shut down until 1996, 85 years of suffering total. Now after 100 years after its creation, the 130 building mega asylum has rotted down to only a few of the most haunted sites left standing. Areas full of activity that a paranormal explorer named Angelo wants to document. On March 2nd of 2020, Exploring with Angelo enters one of the only buildings left standing. Shadow figures watch from a distance as they cautiously make their way through. Apparitions who are there one moment and gone the next. And it isn't until they begin walking up the stairs that the creepy noises begin. Sounds like doors opening while both of them are standing in place. Oh. Or this low croak right behind them at 4 minutes and 46 seconds. That's weird. That's weird. Or when they get to the top and find the doors wide open leading into the dark forest. So if this door is already open, then explain this. Why these things are all made of metal? This whole road. The door somehow creaks open without moving. It sounds like it's being pulled open from straight ahead and yet nothing is there. Here's the door at 5 minutes and 6 seconds when the sound happens, and here it is again at 5 minutes and 50 seconds after the sound. It's open at the exact same angle down to the degree. They didn't touch it. They step through and turn around to look at the door from outside. They turn out their light to see if they pick up anything. Sure enough, these two beady eyes reflect on the wall despite there being no lights of theirs turned on. At 6 minutes and 25 seconds, they hear and see something jump across the camera. When they turn their lights back on, it's gone. They explore a few other rooms and when they retrace their steps, the phantom doorway opens once more. I just heard it again. Yeah, I heard it too. Whatever, I'll just keep going. The top floor is filled with hospital beds. Look what appears right as they ask a simple question out loud. People claim they see in this place. Shadows. A glowing circle floats by in response and soon a bad feeling rushes them off of this floor. But as they are leaving, they hear this noise coming from a different building, one deeper in the forest. That's what we've been hearing. That's what we've been hearing, but that's coming from the forest. Angelo is walking towards the noise when it becomes evident that they are surrounded. What? what? They are looking one way when a hiss comes from the opposite direction. What is that? I don't know. Oh, what the f was that? 
Up ahead is another asylum building and more voices. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. That's where the noise is coming from. And this large white sideways face peering at them from inside. As they walk around the perimeter, all of the commotion strangely stops. The forest is as silent as can be. But as soon as they enter the building, they hear the noise again. Something is playing with their mind. Inside is little more than room after room of decaying white wallpaper. When they reach the end of the hall, they hear heavy footsteps from where they just were. This sounds like real fear to me. At first, they try to determine where the footsteps are coming from, but this is the moment they need to get out of there fast. Ever since we got here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They face their fears long enough to stop and turn around one last time to confirm they were really being followed. Anything there? I'd say it's pretty clear that they were. This is a huge 10 foot fish. Even the locals don't even know what this is. This underwater discovery is scary to visitors and locals alike because never before have they seen such a strange sea creature sighting. It's unknown exactly when this video was taken. Somewhere in Mexico is the best I could find, but I can tell you what this is called. It's an oar fish, and it gets its name because it's roughly as long as a rowing paddle. Everyone is perplexed by what to them is a mysterious encounter. In reality, the oar fish looks twice as aggressive as a shark, but actually poses no harm to you unless you are underwater plankton. Its main diet, Strange appearance aside, there is one other reason to be afraid of this fish. According to Japanese folklore, or fish wash ashore when an earthquake is coming soon. Apparently it's happened so many times in the past that they've even done experiments to see if it's true. They weren't able to prove the myth true, but one lead scientist talked about changes in catfish behavior that have been observed up to 10 days before an earthquake. So if a catfish acts strange, before an earthquake, then an oar fish could too in my opinion. If anyone knows the date and location of this video then please tell me. That way I could look up any reports of seismic activity after this video was taken to see if the legends are true. Impending earthquake or not, seeing this creature wash ashore on a sunny day and not knowing what it was would be enough to make me grab my luggage and get the heck out of there. That's one freaky fish I'd rather not chance brushing across in the water. Water. Don't pet a sleeping seal. Published by New Generation and originally posted on TikTok by a couple of blokes, these Aussies found a leopard seal from Antarctica washed up on a beach in South Australia. Of course, they presumed the seal had passed away. After all, it was lying very still in the sand, undisturbed by their approach. But as the man heads over to pet its back, the seal pops up ready to battle. Who knew a seal could look so much like a T-Rex? Well, I have officially... Bearing all of its teeth at the man, the seal hops forward a bit but then rests back in the dirt again. The man, on the other hand, jumps a mile. As many in the comments point out, this is the most Australian video ever. YouTuber Jedward Scissorbangs writes, Australia, touch dangerous animal first, ask questions later. Miss me with that. I think I'm just gonna stay indoors. A spirit pulls a member of the YouTube team, Kaza Sabre Natural, down a staircase in this scary video. Upon first entering the haunted place, they hear something and they discover a rope tied to a wooden beam overhead. A gente acabou de escutar os passos ali. Calma, Dor. Tá, tá, tá muito iluminado ali. Acho que não. Normal. E a corda continua aqui, aquela corda, cara, que tinha aqui, ó. Credo, Parecia sabe? que uma pessoa tava querendo se enforcar. Aqui. Is that a noose? As they continue their search of the place, they hear a voice. Escutou a voz aqui, ó. Olha lá. Escutou a voz? Credo, Sandro.
They hear something again and start to head upstairs. But they soon wish they wouldn't have. What just dragged this crew member down the stairs? If it is indeed a spirit, I wouldn't be following it downward. It may be leading this team to the fiery depths below. Jamie West is on vacation, and earlier that day, she and her friends had a brief conversation with some random boys at their hotel. It's late at night when they get a knock on their door and find the same group waiting for them outside. Now Jamie and her friends are nervously watching from the other side of the door, trying to decide what to do. It kind of seems like it could be some innocent back and forth flirting until one of the strangers gets even bolder. They record Jamie and her friends through the crack in the door, encouraging them to come outside in hushed tones all the while. Jamie goes deeper into the hotel room and doesn't answer the door. Let me know if you would have done the same thing, or if you would have taken the chance and opened the door for them. This video comes from a YouTuber named Kusun2. He's a college student with an original Xbox that has a very strange and unexplainable problem. Every time he is hanging out by himself, his console likes to turn itself on. This happens so often that Kusun2 decides to record it for evidence. The only problem is that this Xbox appears to be camera shy. He'll stare and stare at it and it won't do a thing. It only seems to turn on when he is doing something else, almost as if it's trying to distract him. Even now as he films his Xbox and explains his story, it refuses to turn on by itself and makes him look like a fool. After talking for about 5 minutes, Kusun2 finally decides to test his theory and leaves the room. The Xbox does nothing for a long time, but then... Keep in mind that there's no way to turn on an original Xbox remotely, and he always keeps his controller neatly wrapped up on the top of the system, so he can't be using a controller that's out of sight. On top of that, things have been regularly disappearing and reappearing on their own, and now Kusun2 is extremely creeped out about being alone. It seems these poltergeists have left their group project until the last minute, published by Amar Ajola in September of 2014. This scary video caught some paranormal activity in a computer lab in Delhi's Karkardoma court. The footage shows a man sitting in a computer lab. He appears to be waiting to capture some strange activity on his camera, and then it happens. One computer monitor turns on, after another, after another. They each turn on in their own time across the lab. No one else is in the room, so the mysterious behavior of the monitors is unnerving. Some think it's a prank using remote activation. Others think it's a ghost programmer needing to complete a project. Many note the orb activity in the video. Are these the entities that are present? It's certainly seeming that way to me. It's almost midnight when this YouTuber makes the mistake of going for a late night motorcycle ride. Completely unaware of the paranormal activity about to be caught on camera, he sees a figure in white and slows down, suddenly feeling unsafe and vulnerable with a ghost in his sights. <laughs> As he speeds away, he says the mysterious figure appears and disappears in the side view mirror. I kind of see what he's saying, but the mirror is so dirty that I'm not sure if this proves much of anything. Still, what this person is doing by themselves at midnight is anyone's guess.
they seem to be slowly looking for something, which is beyond creepy when you think about it. A YouTuber named Izzy Centric is testing out his ghost hunting equipment on a creepy doll that's been possessed by a ghost for over 20 years. He sets the cursed object up in its miniature school desk, hoping to catch the doll moving on camera if possible, and he passes a ghost meter over it that is designed to catch the energy levels of any paranormal entities within. Sure enough, his paranormal equipment detects the presence of some creepy stuff lurking within the doll's demonic plastic shell. Is this you here? <gasps> what the? Are you kidding me? Not only does the ghost meter register a positive response, it detects so much paranormal energy in the air that it crackles with an abundance of electricity. His wife joins him in the investigation and she's not surprised by the results. It was her doll as a child and it always did creep her out. Now it's her turn to ask questions. Are you still here? It's not doing it anymore. She gets no response from the nightmarish doll, at least not until she takes it upon herself to give it an insult. Oh, little wuss. Say what? Said little wuss. Ooh, didn't like that, did you? The ghost meter lights up angrily at this provocation, which signals to me that this is more than just a coincidence, and almost undoubtedly a doll possessed by scary things you wouldn't want in your home. If this video is paranormal, then hopefully it stays bound to this object and finds no way to get loose. This video takes place somewhere in the South American country of Chile during the middle of a street race. A number of cars rush past and soon an animal randomly materializes without making so much as a sound. Watch again in slow motion, and it really does appear as though the dog steps out of an invisible portal. You can see its front half emerge first, followed by the torso and back legs. Then again, the blurred edges around the dog's body does look like it could be made through editing. I am not an expert in video editing though by any means, so let me know if you think this is real or CGI and how you could tell the difference. A number of scary viral Russian 3AM videos uploaded by Rostelman has everyone spooked, including himself. He wants someone to explain this mysterious event. He keeps going through night after night, so let's help him out. This window is taking some serious punishment from an unseen force and at times sounds ready to break. One night he can take it no more and makes one crucial mistake. He invites it inside. I myself would probably get reinforced steel bars installed on that window before opening it, but I guess he was trying to get a better look at whatever it was, and before you say he should have gone outside to see what it was, keep in mind it's late at night and freezing cold in Russia, so I wouldn't be in a hurry to confront this paranormal entity either. When demons speak, you listen, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Regal. The Redditor explains that he and some friends listened back to the voice recording of an EVP when they heard this demon or spirit, which sounds like it's speaking directly into the recorder. Oh. 
In the recording, you can hear the group asking the spirit if he can let them know he is present. Just let me know you are here. See, it's a roach party over here. After asking this question a couple times, a clear voice is heard, and he wants one thing from the living. He wants them to get out. In the Reddit thread, Regal explains that a neighbor from his apartment complex in Reno, Nevada told him that he'd seen a tall shadow man in the mirror leering behind him. Then they experienced some poltergeist activity as a protein container threw itself across the room at them when they entered the neighbor's house. He suspected the demon also possessed his neighbor as the man kept blacking out only to awake standing in the corner of the room. The neighbor also suffered from unexplained scratches on occasion. Redditor jazzed out writes, That sounds like a malevolent spirit to me, and not a demon. And to add to this, demons are easier to identify when and if they speak, because they will be speaking in a language called Aramaic, which is more difficult to understand. Demon or malevolent spirit, to be honest, don't know which is worse. Everyone knows that in the wild, you're a guest in nature's home, except these people apparently. Published to YouTube by Cone Baby, this group was captured on camera getting too close to the wildlife in Yellowstone National Park. Hey guys, we've run into a bison here and stupid girls are approaching it. Bison can run up to 30 miles an hour and gore you to death, so who knows what kind of answer. The buffalo at first looks like he's minding his own business, but then. We're just gonna sit and watch him feed for a little bit, and uh. Oh yeah, there you go. In my opinion, this video should serve as a warning to anyone who visits a national park. Don't be an intrusive guest in nature's home. The Sonora Inn was built in 1896 and is infamously haunted by many a spirit. Thomas writes that he worked night shift there in 2018. As he was setting up for breakfast at 5 a.m., this is what was captured on security camera. Watch the bowl he places on the counter in the top right corner. Let's see it again. Do you believe in this dining room poltergeist? I feel it might be a case of the wet surface of the bowl acting as a lubricant. After all, he did say it was a bowl of ice, but that's just my theory. What do you think? This dash cam video originates from somewhere in Russia. A large truck swerves out of the way of something invisible, narrowly missing oncoming traffic in the process. Then a pedestrian suddenly appears from behind the truck and calmly walks away like nothing happened. The uploader of this video is sure that this is a ghost, and assuming this video is not CGI, I would have to agree. Slow the video down and you can clearly see how nothing is in the truck's path at first and then the person instantly appears only after the truck has passed. It's almost as if the truck has passed straight through them. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has experienced his fair share of demon encounters over the years, but this is probably one of the most terrifying. What you're about to see is a demon trying to take Tim's soul. First, the demon shows its disdain for knock-knock jokes. Then it confronts him. It then speaks to him. This demon clearly wants him gone, and Tim finally heeds his warning.
I think it's very smart of him to have gotten out when he did, considering this demon's level of aggression. I always find his videos compelling, but this one especially has me on edge. While entering a deep, dark cave, these brave souls nearly left their skeletons behind. Good gravy, what is that? You can see the creature momentarily as they enter. But for some reason, this encounter doesn't send them running for the hills. And then, not long after, this happens. That hissing is somehow more terrifying than a deafening roar and the figure's features are equally horrifying. The fact that they didn't leave on the first sighting of the creature makes me think this is fake, but as we only caught a glimpse on camera, maybe they just didn't see him in the darkness. If it is acted, then it's an incredible fake. Everyone who owns a dog knows that they can sense things we humans don't. Posted by Redditor ChewyBone02, he writes, I think my dog had a crisis. And he isn't wrong. The video shows two dogs standing on a day sofa, looking out the window. The bigger one really starts to panic, its legs pushing the sofa so far from the window that he's stretched pretty impressively until he absolutely can't stretch anymore and pops down to the floor. Meanwhile, a number of orbs appear throughout the clip, drifting across the room. Is something outside spooking these dogs? Or is it something paranormal inside? After all, those orbs certainly point towards the latter. If only these dogs could talk and let us know what the answer truly is. A light at the far end of a room is swinging by itself when all of the other lights are as still as can be. Now, before you tell me that it's under a vent, let me show you the same room from a different angle. Look all the way to the ceiling where the fluorescent light is grounded. No vents anywhere. So what's the deal here? Am I missing something major? Or is this light swinging on its own momentum when there's nothing to make it move? A YouTuber named Lothvan hears a knock at 4.30 in the morning. This has been going on for quite a while and he's finally had enough. So he grabs his camera and heads out. He films the outside scenery for a bit and catches nothing but crickets chirping under a night sky, or so he thinks. He looks at the video later and notices a small white face peering back at him from the shadows. Lothvan is now convinced that this is proof of how Slenderman stalks him and haunts his dreams at night. I'm curious as to whether or not you think someone was really there, or if this all sounds made up. A YouTube channel called Abandoned Explorer heads to an old house that is so eerie, it's best to go by day. I hear a strange noise in this video at 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Is this a creepy sigh? So I'm gonna guess this is like some sort of living room area. They are in the center of the house, so I don't think that it can be the wind. Anyway, they continue exploring until one of them yells for assistance. Perhaps they've made contact with someone on the other side. Oi! What? There, mate! What's going on, mate? But as it turns out, they've only made contact with the other side of the floor and now dangle helplessly. I just fell through! They do show the same hole earlier at 6 minutes and 12 seconds though, so this might have been staged. I can tell because this distinctive yellow area is seen in both shots. In this video by Nathan Hughes, published this year, the YouTuber's dog Molly is visibly trembling as it stares off into space, huddled in fear on the sofa. What's wrong? What are you looking at? What is it? Molly? What is it? Are you okay? 
When asked if she wants a biscuit, Molly just looks over and goes back to staring and trembling at whatever she's seeing, completely ignoring the biscuit that her owner set on the pillow beside her. She is staring towards the door near the kitchen, shaking nervously. When the owner tells her to eat her treat, nudging it closer to her mouth, she just continues staring in frozen fear. Then the owner walks around the front, facing the dog, asking what she's looking at, but she doesn't move a muscle. He closes the door to see if anyone is standing behind it. No one. Nothing is there. Throughout the entire video, Molly refuses to listen to her owner. Maybe the paranormal vision she saw made her lose her appetite or left her in so much fear that she is unable to move. In 2009, a paranormal research group was tasked with investigating ghost sightings at a cemetery in Tampa Bay. They review weeks worth of footage and uncover some weird things caught on camera. They think this video is paranormal because an odd light goes behind a marker, placing this object, be it a ghost, an orb, or whatever you want to call it, somewhere behind the fence. Therefore, it's not a bug or a dust particle moving up close, though it could simply be edited. The ghost hunters claim to record the spot for three more weeks before any other paranormal evidence is caught on video. This time, their camera picks up a shadow figure moving off screen, along with some kind of ethereal mist blanketing this area that does not look like normal fog. It happens at the same time a car drives by, so I'm hoping this shadow figure is just caused by passing headlights. Otherwise, this video might be as paranormal as they say. While exploring a haunted farmhouse alone, Dan from Nighthawks Paranormal hears something present. Make it fall forwards or backwards. I'll just push it up. You can hear faint footsteps, but when Dan looks over the landing, no one is there. Dan hears numerous other sounds in the house, including a male voice talking. And strange whispers. What the flipping heck was that? Please tell me you heard that noise then. I definitely get creepy vibes from this place and wouldn't doubt that spirits are abound. All the unnerving whispers and unexplained noises do suggest the presence of John Penswick or some other spirit. What do you think is the case? Two friends hear something large running across the roof of their home, so one grabs a camera and bravely heads into the night. He scans the rooftop with his flashlight and the beam floats across the oversized pink head of a wild creature that has no fur. Wait a minute. Hey! He climbs onto the roof to get a better look at the creature, but when he gets up there, it's gone. Little does he know that it is stalking him from an unseen vantage point the entire time. Where's it go? The crouching humanoid looks to be half the size of a normal person. It regards him with cold, beady eyes that are low and close together like those of a wild animal. Zoom in and you'll see that this is either CGI or a real creature. The skin is way too tight to be a mask. Many say that this is the Rake, a pale, mythological creature that attacks without warning. Let me know what you think this is, and if this person was moments away from being a goner. Some folks are good narrators getting carried away by their own storytelling. This one should have noticed how true her story was. This video was originally posted to TikTok by Briar May. In the video, Briar is telling a creepy story while sitting on her bed. As she describes how her stepsister used to wait under her bed and grab her ankles, the camera pans back to capture her bedroom door slamming closed at the most inopportune moment, heightening the fear of the horror story. But don't be distracted by the sound. Look under the bed. Her room is not 
MT after all. Is that Briar's stepsister, or are her ankles about to be grabbed by the true blue monster under the bed? This is a horror story come to life. I just hope everybody was all right. A YouTuber named Visually Creeped TV is walking around a cemetery in Wisconsin when he hears creepy whistling from within a crypt that is locked and 100 years old. Take a look and try to tell me which direction you think it's coming from. Let's go walk down here. What the f The only thing I find odd is that he initially looks in the opposite way of the crypt. When he first hears the noise, if the whistle was truly coming from inside of the crypt, I think he would instinctively turn the other way. He quickly walks around the crypt to verify no one is around, and then he hears the whistle again, this time where he just was moments ago. Oh, like, right behind me. Hello? Overall, there's no easy way to fake this video. It doesn't really sound like speakers or anything like that, and it does sound like it's coming from inside of this structure. But the gates are chained shut. A YouTube channel called 3 Slash Amir AMR searches for what his video title roughly translates into English as the most dangerous magician. Though its glowing eyes make it look less human and more like a djinn, the Arabic word for demons and spirits. The way the eyes come into focus at 1 minute and 4 seconds looks pretty good, but I think it might be special effects because the overall resolution seems to briefly drop. White and red eyes look at him from outside of a window, and there's a really good look at them here at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, but these eyes look like they could be any of the city lights shown here when he goes outside. He does see the djinn standing outside of a window, eyes glowing white as ever. It disappears, then he sees either the same creature or possibly another one in the building directly behind him. Now feeling surrounded, he turns and flees this entire area, but not before catching glowing eyes looking at him from the window within. Worms aren't only found in insects, they can also be found in that next bell pepper you buy from the produce aisle. The uploader writes, that thing was in a pepper, looks like he wants to grow in someone's gut lol. What is that thing? The thing looks like a tapeworm, but according to Snopes, the worm inside the pepper actually isn't that dangerous. The viral video came to light in August of 2019. The stringy worm moving inside the pepper was something a lot of viewers couldn't unsee apparently, and many saw it, as it was reposted on Facebook a million times, with viewers warning about the worm. Some posts warned that the worm was called Simbla Merch, and that it was a new type of worm that delves into moist areas of the body, resulting in possibly passing away. The claims, however, like so many posts on Facebook, were inaccurate. One said it might be a horsehair worm, which we talked about in the previous Parasite entry, but adult horsehair worms are darker. Even the original message was false. This is not a new type of worm. It's been around since the dawn of time. Lesson learned, clean and prepare your green peppers properly, but still eat them. Another lesson learned, a British YouTuber named Lewis Clark goes in search of a country cottage that's reportedly where people go to take their own lives. The inside is still and stuffy and cluttered with cobwebs and shattered glass. Huge chunks have rotted underfoot, threatening to send Lewis Clark and his crew to a painful fall that might not have made it through. As they go deeper inside, they noticed a very bad sign. Tell me if this is a fake cough or not. <laughs> Guys, the whole place here stinks. Like, <laughs> I don't know why the place stinks. The stench is really bad now. As they reach the far end of the home, and as one of them reaches for this giant spider, they find something much more horrifying laying in wait. Boy, just f go. He's gonna f tap the spider. What the f is that? A white cloth with dark red stains is draped over what appears to be the shape of a human. It looks like this poor soul met a particularly gruesome end, but there's no red on the walls or pooling on the floor underneath, so I think this body was recently moved here for some reason. Or this was all set up. The problem is I can't tell which, and I'm not sure if I want to know the real answer. Garbage has eyes. 
posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit. C. Holly Molly writes, First noticed the eyes about two years ago, the ones next to the hose reel. She says this is a black plastic bag with sand in it, with no tape or reflective stickers attached. The security footage shows the garbage bag and its eyes. At some points throughout the clip, it even looks as though the eyes are blinking. The Redditor says the eyes appeared nearly a week after the bag was placed there. Some Redditors in the comments say it's pareidolia, while others think it's a residual artifact from the camera. Are we seeing a face that is not there? Or is this a real-life Oscar the Grouch? Paranormal Lone Star thinks they've spotted some strange activity while exploring the basement of the old Stamford Inn in Stamford, Texas. Down here is where an entity named Ernest is said to haunt. First, they find his saw. Looks like it had a, had a saw right there. Oh wow, that's, that's crazy. The that's the rest on the... Then they find Ernest, or so it seems. Oh, The saw is no doubt real, because there is still a nail where it used to hang on the wall. But as for Ernest, the ghost sighting, I'm not so sure. You can hear the paranormal investigators in the room, so it wasn't them. But it could have been a third person dressed in black pretending to be a real ghost caught on camera. It is said that evil resides here. This paranormal explorer is about to greet it. Ricky Velasquez seems to sense this reputed evil early on. He then senses this hiding under a bench. While outside the structure, he hears a hushed whining or whimpering. Shortly after, he hears what sounds like a bottle being kicked. Back inside, he senses something in his presence again, and then on an upper floor, this unexplained sound. Is evil still lingering? Ricky isn't the only one who can feel it. Someone is watching in the woods. Published by Mr. Horror, this short clip shows a group hanging out in the forest and what looks like the ruins of an abandoned structure. As the camera turns from the surrounding trees to the building, it captures something creeping around the door frame. The mysterious figure is but a flash, and its features are indistinct. It quickly pulls out of view. The cameraman hurries forward, revealing a campfire built outside to the right, but it looks like the creature is long gone. What was it? Are they being stalked by the unknown? It sure looks that way to me. It's the middle of the night and Anna Grayson keeps hearing heavy thumping sounds coming from the hallway. She spends a full minute walking around to make sure that everybody is asleep, which they are. As soon as she gets back into her room, the house becomes extremely still and suspenseful. I get the sensation of being watched here, do you? Anna does not feel safe at all, peeks under the door, probably half expecting to see shoes on the other side. She doesn't see that, but what she experiences next indeed confirms her suspicions. The fact that she patrols the entire house and hears nothing until the moment she steps back into her room makes me think that someone else is in the house with Anna and her family, something that will patiently wait until everyone's guard is down to strike. The Bucket List Boys are an adventurous group of friends who are excited about taking the 24-hour challenge in an old haunted hospital. Most of the video is relatively normal until night falls and the atmosphere suddenly changes from playful to serious. Serious. Justin, I know that was you. Dude, we talked about right here. Shh. Wait. Shut up. That wasn't that wasn't you? No, that was you. Stop playing. 
They quickly grow more and more nervous from mysterious sounds until eventually they just want to leave. They're trying to figure out a way when something that's just way out of place pedals across their path. Do you remember which way it is? Uh, no. Did you hear that? What? What the oh, fuck? No. A small right tricycle rides by and sends the bucket list boys running in the opposite direction at full speed. They're in such a hurry to escape whatever's behind them that one of them almost falls down a dark hole with no visible bottom. They barely make it out in time and never look back. Hopefully this was just a prank and nothing really followed them outside. Reed's boy records what he thinks is a rare creature sighting and while I think he might be right, I would like your help to confirm. Some of the dogs in his neighborhood are going crazy, so he zooms in on where they're barking and just barely makes out this figure possibly watching from afar. At 38 seconds, you get a much better look when he zooms in. Bro, do you see? It's hard to tell for sure, but I think something is definitely there, and it kind of looks like the upper half of a shadow person. Fear suddenly overcomes Reet's boy, and he runs back inside before it gets any closer. Definitely the smart choice. Bill and Lisa have a problem at home that's not the average couple's quarrel. Bill keeps seeing movement in the house, so he sets up an infrared camera system to catch it on tape. This narrow figure glides across their dark doorway at night. Here it is again from another angle, an imp-like figure roughly the size of a child moving towards the stairs. It enters their master bedroom next. It's not tall but looks powerful, and a short while later the shadow figure runs down the stairs and out the door. This is most likely special effects, but there is one reason it could be real. Infrared technology is designed to detect heat. So when something is purple, like this shadow figure, it means it's detecting the absence of heat. In other words, the passing chill of something that is in the shape of a human. Bill also claims to have been followed by this shadow figure, despite moving to a new location. So tell me if this video is enough to make you believe him. So years ago, I analyzed a creepy video of a mysterious handprint found in this family's haunted home in a hard to reach area really high up in the corner above the stairs. Years later, their house still appears to be haunted as ever. This wall has since been painted and the exact same print is still there. Okay, so the wall does in fact look to be painted a different color. The original video has a yellow wall and now it's gray. It's the same distance from the ceiling and has the same impossibly long fingers extending from an oblong palm, more like the paw print of a creature than that of a human. So I guess the work of a demon is not out of the question. With that said, I guess they could have stenciled the handprint and recreated it over the new paint job. But that seems like a lot of work and there's should be some mistakes. The handprint in the two videos looks nearly identical to me, and therefore I think this follow-up video is probably paranormal. And judging from their evidence, it looks like this paranormal entity, ghost, demon, whatever you want to call it, is not going to stop haunting their home anytime soon. Unless you're touring abandoned asylums or reputably haunted sites, you probably wouldn't expect to capture anything mysterious on camera, but this individual did just that. This video has been making the rounds all over the internet and we tracked it down to its original source, published to YouTube in January of 2019. JJPD Productiones writes, Mr. Luis Reyes was traveling to Nicaragua for the first time. He went on a tour of tourist areas of the country. Specifically to the Tiscapa viewpoint, he recorded the landscape, but did not expect to capture what you will see next. What you see looks like a giant crab, insect, or alien-like creature, maybe all three combined. The creature is standing on a rooftop, then it walks to the edge and jumps over to a courtyard, out of sight. While many congratulate the uploader on the special effects, some are willing to suspend their disbelief, but upon further investigation, it appears this channel specializes in special effects. So my explanation for this video is that, while it's quite scary, it's most likely CGI. A YouTuber named Guy Terry hears someone crying outside of his door and starts recording for both evidence and his safety. He 
He quickly shuts the door and then appears to be torn between helping the stranger and running away. He decides to open the door once again. A bad mistake. Something about the timing of the video and the aggressive posture of the woman seems absolutely real to me. First uploaded in 2007, this video is one of the earliest ghost sightings to go viral. I'm not sure if this was truly paranormal or if someone broke in, but I do think it's not staged. Vadim Vadimich is a Russian YouTuber who often explores the radioactive remains of Chernobyl, an abandoned power plant that went into meltdown during the 1980s. On this journey, he and his friends find an abandoned daycare center that seems quite haunted. One of the first things they find are two dolls. One is headless and the other has poked in eyes, shaded black all around, as if someone was pressing down aggressively hard as they scribbled. It's not a welcoming sign, but could just be the work of some edgy teens or maybe even someone in their own group, so they press on. Across from the dolls is this picture of a Russian team all huddled around a strange object in the center. I don't know what this is in the middle, so someone help me out because it might be a clue. I assume this was a picture of the kids who used to come here before the meltdown. Who knows how many, if any, actually made it to adulthood due to the radioactive exposure. Immediately behind the photo is a creepy old picture of a Russian woman in full uniform crying. I don't understand the significance of this picture, but I feel like they are saying something important here. So translate this part from Russian to English if you can. After a while, it becomes apparent that they are all being watched. These white eyes first appear on the other side of a window at 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I thought it was just his light until I realized the light is hitting his chest and shouldn't be visible behind him at all. And here at 3 minutes and 52 seconds, the eyes appear again in a doorway, much closer. It's just for a split second, but I mean, whose flashlight looks like that? Nobody's that I know. Those look like eyes for sure. Glowing ones at that. They come across a portion of building they've explored before, but this time the door is partially opened, so they cautiously step inside. The first thing I noticed were these floating eyes at 7 minutes and 56 seconds. They look exactly the same size and shape as the ones before, but what they saw was the top of someone's head, someone incredibly tall and standing totally still. Standing motionless is a figure with a blacked out face and long white garbs. They run away and soon encounter it again. It's white clothes clothes somewhat resemble the doll clothes we saw earlier. Could that have been a warning? When it gets close to them, it seems shorter than before, but impossibly broad-shouldered and powerful looking. I don't know why they let it get this close, but I guess they were frozen in place from fear and tired from running. I hope this was just a mannequin or something, but when it does this, I know it's far from a prop. <laughs> The group retreats back inside, and now Cornered eventually resorts to smashing through a window and takes a risk climbing through broken glass just to get away from whatever they just saw. So I think it's real. A YouTuber named Jay Katera lives outside of an Air Force base somewhere in the southeast Michigan. He has been seeing some strange things in the sky lately, so he decides to point his security camera straight up and live stream. Not too long after, he captures this strange sighting. Jake Atera isn't sure if this is an alien UFO, a secret government project, or some sort of paranormal orb, but he is sure that it was scanning the ground as if it was looking for something. Let me know if you have a reasonable explanation for this, or if you've seen anything that looks similar, especially if you live in the same state as the cameraman. Have you ever seen something out of place reflected in the window? Posted to the haunted subreddit by Please Recycle Those, this redditor did, and he is wondering what these are. The redditor explains in the comments that his dog heard a sound downstairs, so he followed the dog down with the camera rolling. 
as he is panning across a dining room area when he captures his own reflection in the window. Panning past, something strange is reflected behind the cameraman in the window reflection. The Redditor is wondering if it's an arm. Some in the comments say it could be a ponytail, but the Redditor has short hair. Others think it's a fast-moving ghost or something leaving the scene. What do you think it is? Whatever it might be, it'll knock your socks off. YouTuber Hey Charmaine began posting about her experiences in her home. As her story unfolds, so does a terrifying truth shared by YouTube channel The Grave Digger. The scary video shows how Charmaine's horror story escalated. It all started with this strange object she found. And, um, I got a pack of Pepperdine like 10 years ago, um, but it's modeled after the Bodhidharma and I don't usually take it out. After setting up security cameras in her room, she captured things moving unexpectedly. A few days later, while the dog was sitting for her friend, this happened. Why are you whining, baby? Cooper, what are you staring at? Dude, there's nothing in the hallway. Later, she captured a figure watching her home in the darkness of night and then heard something inside. After deciding to go stay at her parents' house for a while, things escalated. Watch the doorway behind Charmaine. They've been really nice enough to like let me stay there and <laughs> What was that thing? I'm not sure what this figure is, but it seems to be related to the mysterious object that Charmaine found. With all these strange events unfolding, Charmaine has lasted a lot longer here than I would have. An employee walks by when the corner of her hand cart gets caught on the corner of this looming wall display. She shakes it loose with a sharp tug, sending an entire wall of spiky pegged hooks cascading down. It looks like she gets taken out pretty badly. Then at the very end, she's standing off to the side, stunned but still okay. I'm so glad she is okay, but the thought of how this could have went wrong makes me still wish I hadn't seen this video. A YouTuber wants to go exploring at an old abandoned school on the edge of the town in Searsboro, Iowa, a place rumored to be haunted and made even scarier by some nearby creepy woods. The school was shut down two times and nobody really knows why, or at least the local townsfolk don't want to say. The inside is trashed and has no power, and yet their equipment makes a low rumble from an electronic disturbance coming from this stairway. Notice how the sound goes away as soon as they turn away from the steps. Do we even want to try and go with that? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll do it. I keep trying to get up this. Or should we I go this way? Should we go across the catwalk yeah, or this way? Something paranormal is definitely up there. A strange feeling keeps them all away. In the next room, this rope moves by itself and then a bucket quickly follows. A second rope gets pulled and it's hard to say if all of this is a ghost or one of them off camera. On their way out of the abandoned property, they find this creepy secret room. Why a school would have a hidden room is beyond me and also beyond creepy. Keeping a student down there would definitely get your school shut down. They find another small room hidden away and decide to go in. Inside is a message that says something bad happened in this secret room. It's an old worn message written long ago. Not by them, but perhaps a former student. 
A creepy noise ends the exploration as fast as it began, and when they look back at the abandoned building, they see what could be a pale ghost in the window. Emily is sharing a meal when someone uninvited shows up for dinner. Originally posted on TikTok by an unknown user, this video was shared by YouTuber Arte Morbid. Take note of the bowl on the corner of the table. When the family realizes it's moving, they all watch. But it doesn't move again. Many believe it's just a wet plate on a slick surface. It does appear to move in one direction, so I'd consider that theory. Or maybe dearly departed Uncle Ned has joined the group for dinner. What do you think is going on here? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.